We have a gorgeous solar storm that was launched on the sun's backside from a region that used to be an X-flare player, and a tiny coronal hole rotates into the Earth strike zone, and it might even give us a flash of aurora. Those stories and more in the news this week. Solar activity is really picking up this week. We have an old region, 2673, that used to be that X-flare player during the hurricanes. Well, it is about to rotate into Earth view. It's launched a gorgeous solar storm that's not Earth-directed on the sun's backside, and that has given us a bump up in solar flux, which you amateur radio operators must absolutely love. It's also going to be rotating into Earth view here in the next couple days, so the solar flux will continue to rise just a little bit. Meanwhile, we have this tiny little coronal hole that is going to be moving into the Earth strike zone here in the next couple days. It's not going to give us a really big pocket of fast wind, but it could give us enough to give us just a few hours of aurora. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating the hit from that fast wind from that tiny coronal hole that's rotating into the Earth's strike zone here in the next couple days. NOAA is expecting at high latitudes at least active conditions, which could even roll into storm conditions, maybe even a 30% chance of a major storm. We will know more as this region gets closer to the Earth's strike zone. At mid-latitudes, we're only expecting unsettled to maybe active conditions with maybe about a 25% chance of a minor storm at mid-latitudes, and then that shouldn't last all that long. By about the beginning of the week, things should calm down reasonably quickly and we'll be pretty much back to normal. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, we do have a spotless sun right now, folks. So what that means is for solar flares, we are completely in the green. There's no risk for radio blackouts. We do have the remnant of region 2673 that's going to be rotating into Earth view here in the next day or so. The positive thing about that is that it means that solar flux is on the rise. So you amateur radio operators that have been struggling with amateur radio propagation, you are in luck. Things should be bumping back up just a little bit to get you back into the marginal levels. So this is good news and it should last easily for the next couple weeks. So the space weather this week is beginning to pick up just a little bit. We have the remnants of region 2673 that used to be that X-flare player. It has fired off a gorgeous solar storm and gives us a lot of eye candy. It's going to be rotating into Earth view here in the next couple days, and we can hope it continues to give us some eye candy. Meanwhile, it's bumped up the solar flux just a little bit, which I know you amateur radio operators and emergency responders to all the hurricanes, there's still so much work to do. You guys need as much help as, it, as you can get when it comes to radio propagation. So this is a nice little boost for you, which should last for probably the next two weeks. Meanwhile, we have that small coronal hole that is going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here in the next couple days. It should give us a little pocket of fast wind, maybe enough to bump us up to storm levels for a day or so. So your aurora photographers, you know, you might get a chance. Uh, you keep those shutter fingers ready, but things should calm down pretty quickly into the beginning of next week and about middle of next week, we should be pretty much back to normal. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.